All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to downgrade an iPhone 5 to iOS 6 tethered. Now this is gonna be the updated method because Nightshade just got a new update. And I tested the jailbreaks because I know there were like issues with iOS 7 and 8. Um, I tested the jailbreaks. It just freezes at um, booting RAM disk. When you hit jailbreak, it just freezes it. Yeah, so I don't know why. But with iOS 6, the jailbreak actually fully works this time. So you don't have to use 3D tools, which is nice. So if we go under Other, Restore, select IPSW, you can see 6.0.1. But this time, I'm going to select 6.1.4. Then we're going to put the phone right about there, and we're going to hit start. Now for some reason this keeps popping up, and I can't see where the, where the icon is, so I have to do it like that. Because I don't see where the nightshade icon is, because it's like behind the phone on the screen, so. Keep scrolling. Scroll through everything. Yeah, it, it did get updated, which I do like. <clears throat> Alright, so now it is done. It's going to try to boot up, but it can't because it's tethered. So, I have to put it back in DFU mode, which I will do. Now we're going to jailbreak. So back, back out. So we're going to not check that off because, yeah, we're going to hit start. But that is cool. I, if you do have an iCloud locked iPhone 5, just you can just check that box off and see what it'll do because I honestly don't know. It may work, it may not, I don't know. I would assume it will because when I did it, I accidentally, I accidentally checked it off and it just said activating. All of a sudden it like skipped. Like, it said activating, but it was there for, like, literally half a second. Like, it didn't even activate. Like there, And there was no spinning thing. It was, like, so quick. Yeah, as you can see, now it's actually doing it. See, it copied. Where is it? Nightshade.tar. Nightshade.app. Now we're back in recovery. Okay. So that's that. And dash V really doesn't do anything. I don't know why it doesn't do verbose. So what I'm going to do is just get rid of dash V. Since I, it, I, I, I accidentally did that because it's always there by default. And it just had a little square at the top corner. So now we hit start. I'll show you it once it reboots after installing Cydia. So... Yeah. Start using iPhone. <clears throat> so as you can see, we have the nightshade icon. Now all that really does is it just gives us Cydia. As you can see, it's right there. So install Cydia. And it will reboot after this. And there we go, now it is shutting down. Well, rebooting. And I, and this time I will do dash V because it's already in there, so. And it will boot, but it won't actually do verbose for some reason, I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know, hold on. Yeah, it just does that, like there's no text. That's all it does. So. I don't know if it's just not ready, because I did that, it, it did that too on iOS 7, so I don't know. Maybe maybe the verbose is like hidden, or it's just not, yeah, because then it's already ready, so like I don't, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird. Yeah, then there's Cydia, and that's about it.